Welcome to Fine Art Intensive with Saraya Sikander. Today, in this workshop, what we will be doing is we will be mixing various tones of green. We will be mixing light to dark and creating a lot of tonal range. And this will give my students an idea of the gradual but consistent tonal gradation. So the palettes, the hues, light and dark. And within the greens, we will be creating a lot of different shades and tones of this. This is week one study. See you. We're doing the canal, but that will be next week. This week, what we're doing is blending greens to make a base. So on this base, we will build a seascape painting. Uh -huh. Have you painted before? Yeah, but uh, a long time ago. <laughs> okay, you're very welcome to join. So basically, what we're doing is mixing the colors. Uh -huh. It's more interesting when we mix the colors. Because rather than working with the two colors, I like to mix the paints and come up with darker and lighter. Yeah. So like what Aaron did, he made... Oh, thank you. Erin made like a like a medium shade. Uh, Seema, she made like a dark shade. Um, I forgot their name, but uh, oh, I like that color he's yeah. going with. Oh, good one. Nice, beautiful. Look at that. It's circle and circle. It's circle and circle. Yeah. We're trying to go with like a a, a vortex or um, sort of like a round kind of something that is open space. Actually, what I was trying to do is go from light to medium to dark, but it's up to you. Uh, generally, every artist has a different approach and everybody is an artist, let me tell you. I like to go light from medium to dark, but you can do opposite. You can go from dark to medium to light. You can go dark, light, medium. How you choose to approach, your choice. Um, I like to create my own color, but if you want to create black, I'll sh share with you a tip. This dark blue, and dark green blend 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 it becomes very dark like dark gray black it will not become almost black but it will become blackish so the trick is to mix a certain amount and if you mix it it will even go purple and this one is a drop uh... this is like a kind of you can say Already, yeah. Let him mix and find the color. It's, a lot of it is about mixing and finding the color as well. No, it's fine because I'm new here. Oh, ah, that's a nice color you've made. I just wanted to uh, do something dark. That's yeah. all. The blending is the part where I would come in and do a little more of a smoothing. Mm -hmm. Smoothing is when you cannot see the strokes too much and it's finished very well. But mine I will put around this or I need to put inside? Around I think if you do around it, it's better because this is all wet. So if yeah. you add anything to it, it, your color will be lost. But this yeah. part is dry and it yeah. hasn't really been painted. So if you add color on it, it will really show. This color I don't like yellow. <laughs> you can change it around yeah. it. Through today's session, we aim to create harmony in the painting. To achieve a certain level of smoothness, mixing is key. We have to keep mixing and blending the paint until it reaches a smooth consistency. So when it is applied directly on the canvas, it appears flat and perfectly finished. Thank you so much for joining me in today's workshop. As you have seen during the course of today, as we painted and grew and developed our work, the painting became much stronger as we blended harmoniously. The power of art lies in its ability to be fluid as well as to be extremely flexible. Painting is practice-based and it is very much practice-led. 
I would encourage all my students to practice at home mixing shades and tones and through mixing you will discover light and shade. Light and shade is the fundamental backbone and I, I strongly encourage you to try painting. Thank you.